Yard. Guard quarters. Brewster's laboratory. This is where the piece of Eden will be located. No loose ends. Now, did a couple the locomotive and create a diversion. Well, where is it? Huh? Where's Brewster's supplies? Meter. like Jacob's cooking. That should keep you busy while I head into your lab. Follow me down the tracks. You stay here. And keep a lookout. All right. I'll shout if I get any bother. First for a bird's eye view. Can't be too careful. I'm gonna come apart. Not your concern. Bring back the cargo. I need two more weeks with the device. Your questionable practices are beginning to draw unwanted attention. You have been given more than enough time to achieve results, Sir David. 
I was unaware that you expected me to perform like a cocker spaniel. Permit me to remind you of your obligation to the Order. Miss Thorne, you ride me like a racehorse. Sir David, I will return tomorrow. If you have not unlocked the device's secrets, forget your dogs and horses. I will leave you to the wolves. Good day. I was merely promised a tour of the premises, my lords. Who sent you? It's one of green spies. Get that man to interrogation. Then I want him brought to the lab. What a pity. But no deviations from the mission.
Nearly there. No. <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh. That's the stuff. <laughs> Thank you kindly. I was in ever such a squeaky fix when... What do you know? You rescue me. Where's the hidden laboratory? Untie me and then we can parlay, my lady. I'm pressed for time. Tell me now. It's underground. Requires a key. One of the guards nicked mine, cheeky sod. Thank you. Uh, now? Untie me? You got yourself in? I trust you can get yourself out again. Not to worry, my lady. Can still recall a couple of tricks from me carnival days. Charming. Downstairs, then. I want to see that artifact. Not if you value your life. Got it.
you've been up to in there? Don't know and don't care to ask. Cause at night, the grapes glow with an unearthly light. As if the dead are climbing up out of hell itself. Oh, Argent the poet. What else? Ain't nothing else. And you should keep to your work. Sometimes this. There you are. The entrance to Bruce's lab. track. No, he can't. So do as you're bloody told. And by the way, it's sir to you. The blokes are knackered, sir. Someone's gonna get hurt if you push too hard. Honest to God. And someone's gonna be out of work if you keep on... <laughs> Someone doesn't know the meaning of hard work. What's she doing? of Eden. Increase the electricity. But it'll become unstable, sir. You heard what Miss Thorne said. We need results now. Oh, we 
Time to lay down your head, Sir David Brewster. But I have so much more to discover. Do not be afraid. I'm not. God will protect me. I will continue your experiment. You will not stop, Staric. Miss Thorne has already found another piece of Eden, more powerful than the last. I will take that one too. Will we fight to gain what we cannot take with us? It's in our nature. Too close. I must find a way out. Was that explosion? What explosion? EV. Piece of Eden detonated and took the lab with it. The magic lump of hyperbolic metal. I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces does not All mean... went according to plan, hmm? <clears throat> there was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob. You derailed a train. Oh, he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all, a successful mission in spite of you two. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. 
You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. They are far too strong yet. Patience. The Templars have found a new piece of Eden. Sir David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The Council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Patience, Evie. Ah, oh, the gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father! You could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know, Jacob Fry, you might just be right. Then shall we? Yes. Let's. Onward to London. <laughs> I know, I know. You've only had a taste of our latest acquisition from Abstergo. But I want to check in on Sean and Rebecca. I still think attacking a Templar is a mistake. Call Dr. Grammatica. <sighs> Come on. Oh, Isabel, what a lovely surprise. Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Once it's located, I'll let you know. Super. Always a pleasure. Prick. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. Masterberg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! <coughs> Hunt them down! <coughs> All they had to do was wait for you to search the data. Their little stunt has put the whole operation at risk. You need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find something that puts us ahead of the enemy. Time is of the essence, and lives are now clearly on the line. Good luck. I've never seen so many people all at once. <laughs> Churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Who's Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London. Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> Oi, watch it. Ben pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy dipper! Jacob, stop! Take your 
Fine, you little mobsman. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. This You'll be singing a different spell. tune once I'm through with you. does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race it to the highest vantage point. You're going to lose again. Not on my watch. Is Mr. Green's shop located? It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins. Equal in height. One female, one male. Two decades old. And those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starrick sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries, his reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakbrook Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves... The Rooks. You were never good at chess, either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? <laughs> 